So in the last video, we talked about integers, or int for short. An integer only allows me to store a negative 2.14 whatever billion number to a positive 2.14 billion number. Well, sometimes I don't need that. I don't need such a big range. I can go with something so smaller, like a boolean. A boolean is a data type that allows me to just handle true or false. And if we remember, when I was talking about sort of electricity, we have power, no power, zero, one. That can also be translated to true or false. We also have things like the char data type, which is actually what allows us to store characters, single text characters. But as you notice, we have actually a lot of more number styles. We have a lot of other different kinds. We have doubles, which allow me to store uh, 64 bits along with decimal places. And the reason why I mention that is integers, and if we take a look at those bottom ones, those longs, those are both whole number only data types. They only store whole numbers, meaning no decimal places. That can be a problem that we'll see a little bit later. So something like a double or a float, those now allow me to have exactly that. They allow me to have decimal places in my code. So why is that all important? Why, why do I care? Why do I have all of the, there we are. Why do I care about having all of these guys you know, all over the place? Well, I'm gonna take a little side and hopefully you've heard of a little video game called The World of Warcraft. I know, I have. I've played it for way too long. But, World of Warcraft, it currently has come out with a new expansion pack called the Warlords of Draenor. And one thing happened inside the Warlords of Draenor, known as an item squish. And so I want to read this kind of paragraph for you guys. If you want, you can skip over this and uh, or pause it and read it yourself. But right there, this paragraph right here. Additionally, bosses have run into issues where their maximum health has gone too high. WoW stores health values in a signed 32-bit integer. We just talked about that inside of our PowerPoint slides, a 32-bit integer, which has a maximum of 2.14 billion. Ra Din, the heroic only boss of Throne of Thunder, starts at roughly 5.1 billion in a 25 person mode. And as the fight progresses, if players are being stupid because they don't know how to play and they're not in their zones and they're not killing the whelps, sorry, I'm having a moment. A Zik Anixia is coming back and I'm getting, you know, the PTSDs of it. Anyways, if the players aren't doing their job and Ra Den gets healed up, what happens is something called an overflow. An overflow, just like your old odometers, if I hit the biggest number I can, what happens? I roll back down to zero, which if you can think about it, you can think for this sake, uh, you're fighting a boss, you're fighting a boss, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, and all of a sudden, magically, he dies. And all right, I'm not gonna complain. I get free loot, I get my epics, I get my purples or whatever they do nowadays in the World of Warcraft. I haven't played it in so long, but I miss it so much. This is a real life application. This is why uh, World of Warcraft has actually released that expansion. They're doing that item squish to shrink those numbers down and become more percentage. Their other option was to expand to say, for example, a long. But the problem is 64 bits. That turns their game from, I don't know, 10 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes to a 50 gigabyte game. It's huge. So why would they do that? They wouldn't. That's where they shrunk things down. So these data types actually start to matter a little bit when we start to look at the real life application of it all. 